This is the story of the village of Wesley Chapel, North Carolina, a village located in Western Union County that was formally established in the not too distant past on July 15, 1998. This area of North Carolina first began to be settled in the mid 1700s when European immigrants began to move and settle in the area. The inlands of North Carolina were still much more wilderness than farmland. There were no cities, and what settlements existed were few and far in between, with the Piedmont being very thinly populated. The birthplace of the community is generally thought to be a religious meeting place established by members of the Methodist Church in the early 1800s, which came to be called the McWhorter Campground, likely because of its proximity to the McWhorter Homestead. It was located on Potter Road, about one mile south of the present-day Wesley Chapel Elementary School. However, the Methodists found a more suitable meeting spot, and around 1829, they abandoned the McWhorter site in favor of the new spot three miles south, a place that came to be called Pleasant Grove Campground, which remains in use to this day. The McWhorter family and later others had been burying their dead on the original meeting campground as early as 1822. When the Wesley Chapel Methodist Church was formally established in 1832 on the site of the old McWhorter campground, it established not only the church but the official church cemetery. This is when the Wesley Chapel name first began to appear in the area. The church cemetery remains in use today and can be found about 100 yards west of Potter Road near Longmeadow Lane. The cemetery includes modern headstones as well as some very old rough-hewn markers dating from the earliest days of the cemetery. The markers bear the names of prominent local families such as Houston, Howie, Laney, Price, Underwood, Winchester, and others. Today, Numerous descendants of these families still reside in Wesley Chapel, and many roads bear family names. One name that seems to stand out a bit more than others in the area's history is Price. When William Price came and settled in the area in 1749, the Waxhaw Indians had recently left the area. There were very few roads and settlements. At best, the region was sparsely populated. At the time, the area was part of Anson County, as neither Union County nor Mecklenburg County had yet been carved out of the western regions of the young colony of North Carolina. William Price was among the first white settlers in the area, and he made his new home around 10 miles east of here along Richardson Creek. Over time, later generations of the family began to spread out in the county. It was in 1837 when Andrew Joseph Price was born near what is now Weddington, but grew up in Wesley Chapel. Over his life, Joe Price, as he was commonly called, accomplished quite a bit. He served in the Confederate Army. After the Civil War, he served as a county commissioner. In 1880, he was elected county sheriff, and for time, he served as a magistrate in the Sandy Ridge Township. Joe Price farmed and came to acquire significant amounts of land in the Wesley Chapel area. However, he spent his later years more in Weddington. He passed away on June 27, 1911, and is buried in the Weddington Methodist Church Cemetery. Perhaps one of the most prosperous of Joe's 12 children was his second son, James Newton Price. James, or as he was more commonly referred to as, J.N., was born in 1866. Over his lifetime, J.N. came to own significant business interests along the road to Monroe, better known today as Highway 84. In fact, because of the presence of the gristmill that once operated here in the late 1800s, this area of the county was commonly referred to as Price's Mill. There are virtually no traces of the mill that once stood here, except for the creek that bears its name. But, J.N. operated more than just the mill. 
He was also responsible for several businesses that once lined Weddington Road. A large, two-story brick general store once stood directly across from the Price House. In the same area, you could also find the Price Cotton Gin, Post Office, Blacksmith Shop, and Sawmill. Unfortunately, nearly all traces of these enterprises and their structures have faded into history. Nonetheless, the Price name remains prominent in the area. Sometime before 1900, J.N. constructed a small one-story home on a rise along Weddington Road. Later, in 1906, he built a larger home on the same site and moved the original home a few hundred yards to the west. Both of these structures survive today and remain within the Price family. The church from which the town gets its name, the Wesley Chapel Methodist Church, was first established in the area in 1832. Today the church is known as the Wesley Chapel United Methodist Church. With the founding of the church in 1832, the abandoned McWhorter campground was put to use and a rustic arbor was constructed of branches and brush, likely as a temporary but nonetheless first church sanctuary. No doubt the congregation got right to work and likely within a year or two of the founding had built a more substantial wooden structure about three quarters of a mile north of the old McWhorter campground on Potter Road. This building lasted around 40 years until it was destroyed by fire on April 7, 1878. The Price family became involved the next year when, in 1879, they donated two acres of land near the intersection of Shamwood and Potter Roads. And the church built their third sanctuary on the new site, which oddly enough was nearly exactly where the church stands today. This structure served for 45 years until the congregation found itself in need of a larger building. In 1924, a new sanctuary, the fourth to be built, was erected around 500 feet north, closer to the then Wesley Chapel High School. The county continued to grow, as did the needs of the school system. In the mid-1980s, the Wesley Chapel Elementary School needed expansion, but the church was in the way. A deal was struck, and on June 29, 1988, the 1924 church building was picked up and physically moved 500 feet south to where you see it today. And this sanctuary continues to serve the church parishioners more than 188 years after its founding. Another well-known church in the area is the Siler Presbyterian Church. This church can be found at what has become the Wesley Chapel Town Center. First organized in 1895, the original sanctuary was located a quarter mile south of its present day site on Indian Trail Waxhaw Road adjacent to the Wesley Chapel Firehouse No. 26 by the church's cemetery. Once again, the Price family became involved when James Price, or J.N. as he was called, donated land on the northeast corner of Indian Trail Waxhaw Road and Route 84, and the church building was physically moved. The congregation eventually constructed a new sanctuary, and in 1919, a Gothic Revival-inspired building was completed and remains essentially unaltered today. In an interesting side note, not long after the completion of the new church, structural concerns prompted removal of the bell from the bell tower. The church bell is now located on a pedestal near the building's northwest corner. Most of the early homes in this area have long since disappeared. Certainly among the oldest was the Houston home. Dr. William Houston built this home in 1810 from hand-hewn timber beams. It was located near Wesley Chapel Road and Tanyard Road, near the modern-day Church of the Redeemer. Sadly, it too faded into history when it caught fire under mysterious circumstances and burned down on December 29, 2010. The Wesley Chapel High School was established in 1901 at the site of the present-day Wesley Chapel Elementary School. 
The Price family name comes up again in connection with legislation that resulted in the formation of the school. The first Wesley Chapel High School building was a simple wooden structure. In 1911, the Wesley Chapel High School officially became property of the Union County Board of Education. The school system constructed a two-story brick building in 1923 on the site, and the building served the community until January 26, 1951, when a fire broke out and completely destroyed it. The county replaced the school the following year in 1952 with a modern one-story structure that is part of the current day elementary school. The new building continued to serve as a high school until 1961 when Sun Valley High School was completed and took over this duty. This is when the school converted to become an elementary school. Years of changes and additions have transformed the school building into what you see today and it still serves the county. The Potter Road entrance of the school is flanked by two stone monuments that were built by the Civilian Conservation Corps during the Great Depression of the 1930s. One monument displays a plaque that commemorates the founding of the Wesley Chapel Methodist Church in 1832, and the other notes the date of the original Wesley Chapel High School of 1901. Before 1975, the Wesley Chapel community had no organized firefighting resources. The community relied completely upon neighboring fire departments. That all changed when Mr. James Laney spearheaded an effort to create a local fire department, and the Wesley Chapel Volunteer Fire Department was born. Their first firehouse was constructed on Indian Trail Waxhaw Road next to the Siler Church Cemetery and served the community until 2011 when it was replaced with a modern state-of-the-art building. By 1995, rapid growth in Union County was encroaching on the Wesley Chapel community. The neighboring town of Indian Trail, seeking to expand its tax base, was annexing portions of the county, including the community of Wesley Chapel concerned residents looking for a better solution joined together and petitioned the state of North Carolina to formally establish the village of Wesley Chapel and thereby ward off the unwanted annexation by Indian Trail. After nearly three years of hard work it became official. The village of Wesley Chapel became a legal entity on July 15, 1998 and Mr. Albert Black became the town's very first mayor. For nearly two centuries, the name Wesley Chapel has been a prominent name in Western Union County. As the community has grown, it's changed, and this is true of all living things. In 1995, the Siler Presbyterian Church was the only structure at the intersection of Indian Trail Waxhaw Road and Route 84. Both roads were two-lane, and there was a single flashing caution light to control traffic. There was never a traffic jam unless the Wesley Chapel Volunteer Fire Department was holding one of their famous barbecues. Today, the intersection has become a vibrant, bustling town center. Major retailers, restaurants, and health facilities now occupy what was once quiet farmland and pastures. The village finished and moved into its first town hall in February 2014. It opened its first park, Dogwood Park, in June 2014. You are looking at a growing community. What parent doesn't want their child to grow and prosper? What farmer doesn't want his crop to grow and blossom? I've heard it said, if you're not growing, you're dying. Growth is inevitable, and with growth comes change. But. No matter who you talk to, I think most will say that Wesley Chapel remains a great place to live and raise a family. I thank you for watching, and remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride.